close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. And try to see what way of breathing is comfortable right now. Does the body like long breathing or short breathing? Heavy, light, fast, slow, shallow, deep? Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels best, and when you find something you really like, stick with it. And as long as it's comfortable, you can stay with it. If the needs of the body change, well, you can change the breath. You want to be on top of things in the present moment. Because doing what you need to do in the present moment, that makes all the difference in your life. If you put things off to the future or say the good things I did were in the past, you can go through life without doing much good at all, either for yourself or for other people. But if you realize the present moment here is here right now, and this is your opportunity to do something good, okay, take advantage of that. Every moment that you're aware that you've got some choices that could be either good or bad, skillful or unskillful. This is these choices in the present moment that shape your life. This is a timeless principle. As the Buddha said, his teachings are timeless. Whenever you put them into practice, you get results. They don't depend on the season of the year or the time of the day or the day of the week. The principles are always true. It's important to remember on a day like this. Today is the end of the rains retreat. The rains retreat is the time when you usually tend to accelerate your practice, take on extra vows, push yourself a little bit more than normal. And the purpose of that is to see how, how much you can practice, how good the results can be. And if you found that at the end of the three months the results are good, well, there's no reason to stop. Just keep on going, carry the momentum along. If you found out the results were not good, okay, it's time to back, back up and reconsider. But especially it's important to realize even though we're outside of the reins now, it's still a good time to practice. Always practice when you've got the opportunity. And if you make your life timeless in this way, in other words, always taking advantage of each moment as you have it, advantage to do something skillful, then you'll find something that's timeless inside. If your life gets chopped up into little times, this is time to eat, this is time to talk, this is time to whatever, the practice doesn't build up momentum. So whatever you're doing, even when you're eating and talking and doing other things, make it a time to practice. In other words, you try to be mindful of what you should and shouldn't be doing and alert to what you actually are doing and ardent to bring what you are doing in line with what you should. And that way, this amount of time we have, and it always is just these little present moment, present moment decisions, turns into something big than just one little decision. It's lots of decisions build up over time. This way you take advantage of time to re achieve something timeless.